This is a Jaguar 1991 XJS convertible. There are only about 18 and a half thousand of these cars produced worldwide and this is one of the very few which was Australian delivered. Let's check it out. They're a very elegant car to look at, but what do they like to drive? They are magnificent. They're comparable to a Rolls-Royce or a Bentley, except they're a sports car, and this one is a convertible. And talking about sports car, they had quite, a, quite an impeccable record in the 80s and early 90s when they came out. In fact, they come out to Australia once and won Bathurst, came first and second, and that was just a, a whole string of events around the world. They come first and second in the RAC Tourist Trophy in Silverton, and they won the Cannonball Race, which is a race between New York and LA, and they actually broke the world record. They did it in 32 hours and 51 minutes, and that record stood for more than four years before it was broken, uh, an incredible record for a, a car of that time. But yeah, it's, it's just a, a beautiful experience. It, it drives like a sports car, yet it's, it's really comfortable like a, a Tourer. And, and that's what this car's been doing most of its life. It's, it's, been a, it's been a regular car and it's been used daily or every other day, just around country town where you're looking now. But once, probably every once every three months, it might do a, a run down to Melbourne, um, which is what a car like this really loves to do. It, it, it loves to do the the tours um, because that V12 motor sitting on the freeway is actually really economical. You'd be surprised. I, I think a trip down to Melbourne from Marimbula, uh, which is a, a seven-hour trip, uh, only costs probably about about sixty seventy dollars in fuel which for a v12 motor is incredible but they actually did win some events too with the fuel efficiency but here we are now we're we're gonna have a look at the car up close underneath and, and just to see what it really does look like and as you can see it, it's all nice and clean there's a little bit of grit there that's got stuck behind the pipe but you can see it's it's an honest car and there's no rust which is the most important thing just having a look all through each part so you can see everything All the sills are all good. So you can see just a little, there's a little spot there of a little spot of surface rust. And on the other side, in the same place, you can see another little spot. But everything's good. All nice. Yeah, there it is there. Can you see it? Just a little spot. But overall, she's really good and original. She has got a WS body kit on it, but we still have the original bumper bars and they're in the garage and they are coming with the car. Beautiful magnolia seat, leather seats.
There's a little scuff there on the back right. Here's the boot, all nice and clean. And this car does come with the original tool kit. And what's so good is all the tools have got the Jaguar name. Here's the registration. And the motor. Beautiful V12 motor, which you might think, oh wow, V12, it's gonna be expensive to run. <laughs> Wrong. The thing just ticks along when it's cruising at 60 miles an hour and the motor's just bubbling over, which gives you a, a great economy run for a car of this size and speed. Just giving the car a little start, just so you can hear the motor. Turning like a kitten. Okay, give it a rev. The motor's very sound, no smoke. They're just showing you the soft top. All new inside and all working great. There is a spare soft top too in the garage, which is also coming with this car. There's the compliance. Came out here, 91 of the first, January 91. Here's inside. All the timbers all beautiful. There is a slight little scratch in the console on the timber. All the gauges are all great, all nice. That's the uh, timber steering wheel, but we do have the original steering wheel also, which is coming with. Yeah, but just the console just there, there is, you can't see it on the video, but just next to the, the window buttons, there's a tiny little bit of cracking, but everything else is good. There's a crack on the dash. And there's a little bit of scuffing on the lever, on the, on the driver's seat. But apart from that, all the levers all broke. And there's the old soft top. the grill once again just show you the, the compliance you can put that on freeze frame if you want to have a good look at it and there's the original wheel steering wheel which is coming with and there you can see the bumper bars, the original bumper bars, they're all in really good condition. And we do have a spare dash, a spare dashboard with no cracks or anything. And if you've got half a day or you know someone or get a mechanic, you can get that fitted and then you don't have to worry about the crack that's there. Or you can just take that crack to the um, Mr. Doctor, the dash doctor and get him to fix it. It, it. It's just a little bit hard when the car's so far away from a city to get that done. There's the original key to tell you that it is, is a 1991 model. A beautiful car and it's for sale. Good luck with the bidding.